guys, James here. Uh, okay, it's currently uh, 5.30 in the evening. Uh, sun's just set, it's pretty dark. I realize this isn't the start of the day where I usually do these vlogs, but full disclosure, and to be really honest with you, um, I had a pretty hard night last night. Uh, it's just one of those things in quarantine where I guess it just catches up with you. Um, I woke up this morning with a really bad headache. Uh, last night was really, really tough for me being away from everybody. I kind of hit that wall. I was pretty emotional. Uh, I realized that I still had 10 days left in here and I'd, I, I w I've been here less than I have left, if that makes sense. So it was all coming at me pretty heavy. And um, so I just had to lay down and just kind of just like, take a break and not overthink everything so much. Um, so today I haven't really done as much uh, as I wanted to, but that's just because I just needed to take a rest and try not to think as much. I miss everybody at home. I miss my family. I miss my dad. I miss everything. So this whole vlog experience kind of was put on hold just so I could gather back my thoughts, uh, gather back what I needed to do to make sure that I stay in a good position for everything else going on. So, in saying that, I've captured open that envelope. I did my breakfast, I did my lunch, so I'm just gonna show all those in succession. But as long as you guys know that this project of these vlogs was, was going out every day just so that I could have something to do and stay sane through it all. And it has done that wonderfully. Um, you guys are sending me stuff, like I got Uber Eats coffee, which I enjoyed. Um, all the stuff uh, is, is super great, and tomorrow I'll be back on it. Just a, a big day for me just to center myself and kind of get into a good headspace for, for moving forward. I'm an extroverted person, so being by myself in a room for this length of time is no good for anybody, let alone me. And so I'm trying to figure that out. But I appreciate your prayers. I appreciate those of you that text me and message me. Uh, you can DM me anytime on Instagram. Uh, if you have my number, you can text me anytime. Um, it's, a, it's a really, it just all got to me at one point. All I had was the cricket. And you know what? It's repeating over and over and over again. I've seen these games. I know how they work out. Uh, it's actually quite fun because I, can, I feel like I'm commentating. I'm predicting what's going to happen. I'm like, oh, I called it. Ha <laughs> ha. Bear with me. This is just an honest, vulnerable moment. Uh, I will survive and I will carry on and I will deal with it and it's fine and it's good to be honest and it's good to be open and it's good to be vulnerable and it's good to that you can just like I have an outlet to be able to tell you guys exactly what's going on. So that's that. Let's go and figure out what I recorded for this day. This was a bad idea. Breakfast on day whatever. Ah. Things are going crazy. You wanna know, uh, there's something funny happening. Funny. I got two bags again today for breakfast. Now I'm thinking that maybe I've marked off two things on the menu. Which means that if I mark everything off the menu, I should get everything. Well that would be interesting. Something to try. One is something I know I didn't order, and when the other one's the things I did order. The one that I did order, you all know, is eggs and hash brown and stuff like that. This is the waffle with a little jug of compote. Yeah, it's not like a huge waffle. Like I need a huge waffle. No jokes, no jokes. Also got my fruit, orange juice this time, and my fatty bag full of pastries. Breakfast done. When moving this desk, I definitely uh, misinterpreted whether the sun was coming up basically right in front of me. And I know I've shown it on some videos where the sun comes up there. But, um, and now I'm facing directly at it. But I've got these cool shades on, so it doesn't uh, seem so bad. You know, there's no time to waste in the day. You might as well just get straight to what you're going to do, so... Open that envelope! Do it, come on! Open that envelope, open that envelope, here we go. Here it is, July 29th. I need something good, and I know it's gonna be delivered. Ooh, there's a note in this one. It says, I'm sure you're going to love this, wink wink. <laughs> it's a pool table! Quick story about pool tables. 
Uh, first Christmas, my wife Megan and I ever had, I, I like playing pool. I think pool is fun, and if I had my way, I'd have a pool table. But we live in a third floor apartment right now, and bringing up a slate table, well, no one in our community would help. Uh, she got me this little toy pool table for Christmas, and looking back on it, it was super sweet. I didn't uh, respond well, it's just that I was like, oh, this is interesting, and I wasn't exactly, wow, this is awesome, which I should have been, and if you're newly married or you're getting married, always do that with your wife, always just show them a lot of gratitude, a lot of thought went into that. We started playing it, we've played it a couple of times, but obviously it's just, it's, it's not that big. It's about that big, but it's felt, and the balls are like proper, but they're like this big. It rolls to the, to the left or to the right, depending on which way you're going to. So this is very funny and awesome, and I'm going to play it right now. Thank you. So it appears that I have these cues here, but you can put on, you can put on any tip that you want. It doesn't come with any chalk. Yeah. The table's clearly not leveled. I have need to find a uh, a level playing surface. The other cool thing you can do with it is like you can try and get all the all the yellow ones into the same hole. I'm getting close. I got hours of fun. Hours and hours of fun. But lunch came, so let's have a look at that. First things first. Got me a salad. I got steak, potato, and uh, sweet potato. Then I got this uh, cake covered with goo. Remember that old uh, show, uh, the old uh, kids show where they got dunked in slime? Looks like it's dunked in there. Get my got my apple, and I got the uh, Bluebird Original Ready Salted Chips, and a this is from yesterday. And that's lunch for day seven. <laughs> Let it be over. Um, I'm. This is part of the process, I think, of just like living in this sort of environment where uh, you have to be isolated or there's a pandemic. The world's pretty crazy and everything's changing. Today was the first day that I felt terrible. I think the jet lag hit me, lack of sleep. I just went downstairs, I went outside, I, I got some fresh air, I came back up here, talking to family, uh, talking to my wife and just trying to keep on top of things as we go, just uh, the new normal that we're, that we're into. So. Yeah, it's been tough, but we will soldier on. But it is a bit of a, an uneventful day, and I apologize for that. Tomorrow will be better. Or I could do faces. Just between you and I, and no one else, okay, this does not leave this vlog. The lady that was singing, if you remember in early bl bl vlogs, there's a the lady that sang, and it was beautiful, and I sang with her. Well, she's been replaced. I don't know how they do it. They take them away, and they, <laughs> conspiracy theorists, you go to town. Whoever's in there now talks on the phone forever, loud. I can hear every conversation. His friend Matt should just buy the ute. And then we've got a, a, a guy over here, or up there, Currently, right now, training a gorilla how to jump rope, because all you hear is doom, doom, doom. But it's not like how you'd expect exercise to be like doom, 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 doom. You know, like you're. Mm, mm. It's like duh, duh, duh. So it's like really slow jump rope with a 600-pound gorilla. I actually mean a physical gorilla. That's I'm not trying to say that's what is up there, as in terms of a human. That I'm not trying to say that. I'm saying like an actual gorilla is being trained up there. I may take all this out. All right, I don't know who's doing this, but I'm proud and happy to announce that I got an Uber Eats order. What? Who did it? I don't know, there's no name on it, but they got me a coffee. Thank you, mysterious watcher who got me a coffee. Oh, it smells so good. It's a muffin! Sugary goodness to keep me pippity and puppeting. Gracious, very gracious, this coffee is well needed because otherwise I would die. Ooh, it smells like it's got some caramel in it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Today's been a weird day. I started down 
and I increasingly got better throughout the entire day so now I'm feeling way better. This whole vlog is a mess. Um, but I did open that envelope and that was awesome and I got to play some pool. Um, I went downstairs and I got some exercise. I, I think I already said that. Um, I got coffee and a muffin. I really want to know who did that. So fess up, okay? Um, this coffee legit coffee from all press here in town in Auckland if there's anything that you think that I could get a lot of use out of send it my way that's that's not a plug you don't have to send anything to me I have to preface that you don't have to send anything to me I will gladly receive it and take it but you don't have to but you should you know to bless me but other than that you don't have to but yeah so today was a weird day I didn't eat hardly any of my lunch I didn't eat hardly any of my two breakfasts, but dinner, I'll probably devour. But tomorrow I'm thinking, people have been wanting me to do trick shots. And I'm thinking like, how can I do trick shots around here? I'm sure I can find a way. All I need is like a ping pong ball. Or, uh, I don't know, I could use a piece of paper, I guess. And so I'm just trying to make sure that all of you get the full experience from quarantine life here in New Zealand. Life is so fascinating. I've got all the good stuff here, but they bought me two bags of food again for dinner, because it's dinner time. So I get to like have two bags to show you. Now this has been happening all day. I call down and say, hey, you've given me two bags, I only need one. And they say, yeah, just leave it outside if you don't need it. Someone's got to be going without food, surely. Just joking, this bag is my trash that I put out earlier. So dinner, let's get to it. First things first, it's just like like a, um, a salad, just a, a regular chopped cucumber, um, lettuce, carrot, salad. I don't know what this is. It's broccoli. Some type of bread. Meat with spinach. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, jury is out on it. But there is some form of meat in here with broccoli and uh, two white bready things. I'm sure it's like naan bread or something. I'm sure it's meant to be naan bread. But it's nanya, eat, nanya eatable bread. <sighs> Sorry, it's been a long day. Anyway, that's dinner. Oh, and dessert. Dessert. I got a little, little gelatin thing with white chocolate flakes on it. That's dinner. Let's get to the cricket. Whatever it is, it's hot. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, my mouth is burning. It's on fire. If I could edit in flames coming out of my mouth. Any of you know video, just take this clip right here and put flames. That should be enough for you. I expect results in three to five days. Uh. So smooth. Ugh. Okay, now I just need um, steam coming out of my mouth after I take a drink. Okay? Ah. That'd be so cool if someone could do that. So that's it for tonight. Uh, it is now 9 o'clock. I'm just editing some of the video here. It is actually longer than I thought. Man, I can talk. I'm just gabbing. But there is something special that I want to show because I know that uh, Adrian and Karen Thompson are wondering about it. So this is for, for you guys. I painted the plane. I did, made some mistakes on the side there, but I've painted it with the paints that I had from the little painting kits. Really top secret spy planes that everyone can see. It's brightly colored. <clears throat> but these were the only paints I had available. But isn't that cool? I did it. So, uh, thank you for joining in once again. Uh, if you want to see more of this stuff, subscribe to it. Man, I sound like one of them YouTubers. Forget it. Don't subscribe. Don't do anything. If you like it, just come back and look at it. It'll be there. If you don't like it, forget about it. I'll be back tomorrow.